Hello everybody! I am glad to see you today. You can probably <laughs> probably tell by my smile. Um, I finally see you. Well, I don't see you, but I'm, I'm seeing myself in the camera. You finally see me and I'm excited about that. Um, as you can see, I don't have a belly anymore. Well, I have a belly, but it's a um, postpartum belly, not a pregnant belly, which is a whole different game, you know. Uh, so, yeah, life has changed a little bit. The past several months have been pretty intense. Um, I'm alive, as you can see. I know if you click on this video, you are probably wondering that at some point and I don't have any depression or anything like that. Just, you know, life is, is busy. 99% um, of my time now consists of scrubbing something, cleaning, cooking and changing diapers. So yeah, I've been wondering if you actually want to see that, but then I decided maybe, maybe you do, maybe you do, because people are asking me like, Vika, are you alive or not? <laughs> And it's like, yeah, I am. I'm just, I'm just doing what so many people are doing. Nothing special. Just taking care of my children, taking care of my house, and cooking, cleaning, and stuff like that. And at some point, I was actually thinking, like, do, do I even need to film that? Do I even want to film that? Because there's nothing like interesting about that. But also, I thought, Vika, you know, you can't, you can't film anything extraordinary. You can't actually try to, you know, travel all the time or ex explore Georgia all the time because it's just not, not realistic at the moment with three little children. So, yeah, I, I had some time just accepting my reality, <laughs> just accepting my boring routine days and figuring out how I can share these boring routine days with you so they would not be boring to me and they would be interesting to watch for you. So since we're talking about this belly, <laughs> yes, I have a baby now. Yay! Um, third baby and the baby's sleeping at the moment so I'll show the baby a little bit later to you. I was very blessed this time with a much better birth experience than before. Uh, this time it was actually not that long, not that painful, not that hard. If I was a first time mom experiencing this, I would probably say that it was very, <laughs> it was the birth, you know, like it was painful and everything. But since I'm, it's my third time and the previous two were much more complicated than this one, I told everybody that I was, I had such a good birth, you know, I, I had such a good one. I had no complications, like nothing bad happened, everything went smooth, it was all like natural, no in medical interventions were needed, nothing. It was so nice. And the baby's doing good, I'm doing good, I can finally function like a normal human being. And I feel like a normal human being, finally. So thank you for sticking around, waiting for me to come back from my postpartum recovery. And yeah. Not that many updates anymore, except for the whole new baby. Uh, we did some little renovations upgrade around the, this apartment. So it actually is much more comfortable to live in now than it was ever, <laughs> I guess. I just remembered that I didn't show you the bathroom because we we installed the, bath, the bathtub and the, the bath, like the sink, the new sink. I think it was three months or four months after we moved in here. So it's been like almost a year now. And I, I realized that I never showed you that we actually changed everything there. I think I need to make like a little tour around all the changes we did to this apartment because I recently saw the vlog that we filmed when we moved in and it looked so bad. Like it just looked so bad and now it's so much better. We installed the air conditioner this summer too because we would not survive in here without air conditioner. I think I will 
just take you straight to helping me around the apartment and as soon as my baby wakes up um, I'll introduce you because I think wait a second um, yes the baby is still sleeping so let's do let's do what I need to do because my kids will be at home in I think two three hours and then we have to go to visit our friends so I have just a little bit of time to do some random things He is two months old already. Uh, we celebrated it just a couple of days ago. So he's pretty big. He's a, almost a grown man now. <laughs> and yeah, we named him Mark. So we now have Agatha, Adeline, and Mark. Yeah, we've been looking for names that sound kind of normal in both English and Russian and there are not that many options but we like Mark yeah so hey nice to meet you <laughs> he's excited though he doesn't show that but he is that so we are very excited to have him now um, I think we're more than blessed with three children like who would have thought <laughs> that I'll have three children um, by the age of 20, how old am I? 26. And I think he doesn't like standing here, so <laughs> I'll go feed him. <laughs> I decided to quickly put away dried dishes and wash the rest to clean the kitchen before cooking. I like to have a clean kitchen to cook because it's just much more convenient and peaceful this way. And it makes my mood better while cooking because everything I need is easy to get and the place is clean and organized. My husband will come home very soon with the girls. They went to the local park to spend some time outside. 
when they come back we'll have lunch and then have a drive to visit our friends they invited us for dinner tonight and i'm very excited about it Since I don't have much time, I decided to cook a very simple meal from my husband's and my childhood. It might not be a very healthy meal and it might not have many vitamins in it, but it's definitely a comfort food for us. I grew up eating it occasionally in the post-Soviet Russia and my husband had the same experience, so he really likes when I cook something like that. It reminds him of his home and his mom and his childhood years. We call this meal Makarone Pavlotsky, which possibly can be translated as a Navy pasta or Marines pasta. This food was popular in the Soviet Marine Forces because of how simple and cheap and nutritious it is. I mean, it doesn't have that many vitamins, as I said, or like nutritious ingredients, but it's very filling. And because of all the same reasons, it also became popular outside of military circles when people were struggling with food shortages and poverty. But we ended up just liking it as kids. <laughs> In my opinion, it's quite tasty, but maybe I'm just used to it. So, I fry onions chopped into small pieces. The key thing here is to add quite a lot of butter. However, when butter gets pricey, I know people also sometimes use vegetable oils for frying and they add butter just at the end. Anyway, I fry onions with butter, as I said, and uh, onions get that golden look and the buttery smell. Then I put the onions away, add a little bit more butter and fry ground beef till all the water goes out and it's fully ready. I decided to quickly get my dress ready for the evening and also read a book to Adeline because she was asking me before while I was cooking. Then I add onions to ground beef and some more butter, salt and pepper and stir a little bit more. While it all cooks, I boil pasta. It's better to take pasta that will catch the beef easily, so I prefer this shape or shapes similar to this one. I add butter to ready pasta as well and mix it with beef. That's it.
I don't use any sauces because it is not super dry because of butter, so for me it's okay the way it is. My husband likes to add mayonnaise, but honestly he adds mayonnaise to literally every single meal. Um, I would say my brother would add ketchup, but it just depends on your preferences. Adding a salad actually would be nice, but I didn't make it that time, so we just eat it like, like it is. Thank you.